Day two of this week-long run of waves brought me back to El Porto. The waves weren't as big as day one's adventure down the Black's Beach, but the waves still had some size and good shape. I'm Brad Jacobson and I run around chasing waves, the people who ride them, and tell stories about these adventures. Day two had me perched up in a familiar spot looking out at some rain-threatening clouds and fun waves. There were some strong sets rolling through, which led to the lifeguards on high alert. They had already assisted this surfer in the time it took me just to set up. When swells like this roll in, you do things you wouldn't normally do, or at least not recommended by your doctor. My buddy Chris paddled out with a broken tailbone, but that didn't stop him from catching some fun waves. The people on the beach were pretty excited too. There was plenty of action out in the water. Travis Logie seemed pretty happy about this swell. Travis wasn't the only surfer excited about finally seeing some good waves.
In true El Porto fashion, there were obvious closeouts. Many closeouts. Well, it hit most spots throughout Southern California, which helped thin the crowd here at El Porto. It also led to something you don't see a lot here, good waves going unridden. Keep in mind, this was only day two of a week-long run of waves. Check back soon for my upcoming episodes featuring the rest. Thanks for watching. I'm Brad Jacobson, and I'll see you on the sand.